Hello guys, today 30 April we try to see how to deal with Apple earning news, stay tuned. Hello guys, my name is Abdelkarim Ramain and I am your um, trainer and coach. Today, 30 April 2019, is the earning news for Apple. Understand that almost all big stocks with big intention, like uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Apple, Google, Tesla, um, Amazon, all the big companies and the well known. They have a very big attention because a lot of people talk about them. Now, for me, I'm not going to tell you about earnings or about how Apple is good or bad or who is the, uh, <clears throat> the CEO of uh, Apple or something like that. For me, always I'm giving you the things that you need to consider in trading. <music> Because if you are an investor, you don't need to think about earnings a lot. So you should always hold the stock because sometimes up, sometimes down. But you, you are thinking about uh, like uh, face, uh, like uh, Apple, like for um, for many years. So you can see many gap ups, many gap downs. So the main thing is the general thing. Is Apple doing good? Yes or no? This is your investment. Now, if you are a trader, like a swing trading like us, it's different. Okay? Today, after the market close, the company will announce uh, the earning EPS. Now, if the company EPS, which is earning per share, it means the real quarter of March earnings, okay? So this is the real profits that the money that the company gets. Now you you get nothing. Understand that because a lot of people they think when we say uh, two dollars or three dollars uh, per share, uh, earning per share, they think they get this money. No, you don't get this money. This money is what the company has got into the profits and it's not yours. Even if you own if you own Apple, you don't get this. Okay? So you get uh, what you call the dividend, but the dividend is different. It's not this one. Okay? Now, so you have many things to choose from. Let's say you bought uh, Apple many days ago or many weeks ago and you come today, which is 30th of April, and there is the earning. So what you should do? So first, if you want the highest risk, you can hold the stock through the earning news. Understand, highest, highest risk is that uh, it means that you might have a gap up for me i project if it is a gap up it could be between 10 and 15 dollars like a gap down 10 dollars to 15 dollars down so understand that you can have one gap up or one gap down so here we have the highest risk so understand that you if you own apple understand that you should accept the risk okay so this risk could be good profits could be uh, a big loss so if you accept that you hold the stock this is the first option second option is you can sell half or 75 percent or 50 percent or 40 percent it means if you if you have owned uh, Apple for a long time, you can take some money 
and you sell half or 75% or 60% or 40% according to your risk and you leave what is left from shares that you own for the highest risk now here the second choice you have less risk than the first choice because the first choice if you choose to leave or to hold all your shares it means you have the highest risk now second choice you sell some or half or whatever you want so you can uh, you can uh, decide how much risk you want now the third thing let's say you you own facebook uh, you own apple for two months or three months or six months or whatever and you accumulated a large profit so if you are scared to lose 1000 or 1500 or 2000 2000 dollars if you bought if you bought for example 100 shares if you are scared to lose all that money you can sell all your shares before four o'clock p.m today which is 30 april tuesday 2019 this you have no risk at all if there is a gap up you miss the gap up if there is a gap down you are very happy that you don't miss any money and all your profits is in your pockets because when you sell your money is in your account so it is in your pockets so you have no risk okay so these are the three main choices if you own apple okay there is no other choice that you can do uh, those people who uh, for example uh, uh, they buy a put they say oh if uh, uh, if apple has a uh, has a gap down i will make money but you lose money from from the stock so for me i don't play this game of of puts uh with uh, with the stock because it's better to sell okay when you sell you are you have no risk at all without buying uh, an, a put option without uh, losing money because uh, you will never know how much you lose let's say you you think that you want to put uh, to buy a put and you think that the stock will go ten dollars down what if the stock goes twenty dollars down what does it mean okay so stay away from these combinations for me as as i am a trader i have never used these combinations of put and stock but if you if you feel uh, you like it and you have tra uh, uh, you have done it before and it's good for you it's okay so uh the main thing i'm telling you at the end is that you should accept whatever is the outcome from trading it means if you are trading you should accept the outcome this is one of the best things uh, not because you get a, a gap up you become happy and then when you lose money you are sad and uh, this is not a good thing to do you should be uh, uh, very disciplined and understand your risk before you do the trade you understand that you can lose 1000 or 2000 dollars in this trade if you buy 100 shares okay so you understand that so you might get a gap up but don't count your chicken before the hatch so you will never know if there is a gap up and it's not because uh, facebook or twitter or any other stock has a gap up that apple will have a gap up so this has no relation because the news is specific to every stock sometimes you see apple going in up a uh, gap up and the other stocks go a gap down we have seen that before okay so thank you very much guys uh, this is just the recommendations that i tell you always and to be careful this is not just for apple but for any stock thank you very much and see you next time